Hello everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. In one of the most recent projects we have seen how to connect the Quicktail LAT GPS module to the Arduino and read the current location coordinates. Now, in this video, we will be making the geofence using the Quicktail LAT GPS module and the Node MCU sp 8266 le board. But the question is, what is a geofence? A geofence is a virtual fence or perimeter around a physical location. The geofence from us can be useful for multipurpose application. In this project, we will be designing an ajax based web server to monitor the target dynamically in real time and to know whether the target is within or outside the fence. Now, without getting any further delay, let's get started. Do you want professional PCB like this one that looks so good? Then use the services of next PCB. You can select the board size, any solder color marks that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness and the PCB could be from 2 to 32 layers for some more complex design. The finish quality is so good and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to nextpcb.com then quit now. Insert your design setting, upload your cardboard file and order now and receive the PCB in couple of days. Welcome back again. Geofence is a virtual border or fence that surrounds a physical site. It forms a barrier between that site and surrounding environment just like the real fence. Unlike a physical fence, geofence can detect movement and track the target within the virtual fence. Geofence are built with mapping software which allows the user to build the geofences across the chosen geographical region. This process could be of any size or shape. It is composed of a set of coordinates such as latitude, longitude, or in the case of circular geofence, one point that's also a center and radius. The crucial task in geofencing is determining whether the target is within the fence or outside the fence. The fence could be of any shape. So, we need to solve this problem by assuming that the fence is an indimensional polygon. The complexity of the algorithm that solves this task also plays a crucial role in the efficiency of the tracking. Considering this concern into the account, I have chosen the following algorithm for this project. The sum of angles between the consecutive lines which are drawn from the tracking point to this vertices either clockwise or anti-clockwise is taken as a data sum. If the data sum is nearly equal to 360 degree, then the target is within the fence. If not, the target is outside the fence. The angle between the consecutive lines can be found using the dot product. Now, let's find out why do you need an ajax based web server instead of normal web server. In normal web server, the client sends the request to the server. Then the server sends the full page as a response. Whenever you do any action on the current web page, like submitting any text or reloading to view the updated data, the client again sends the request to the server. Then the server again sends the complete updated page to the client. However, with ajax based web server, after the page is loaded for the first time, just the updated portion of the data will be rendered on the page without manually reloading as a result ajax based web server. So, it's best to monitor the real-time data dynamically. Now, let's take out the hardware connection. This is an ESP12 based node MCU and this is the Quicktel LAT GPS module. I have connected the RX and TX pin of the GPS module to the digital pin D0 and D1 of the node MCU. The rated voltage of the GPS module is 3 to 4.3 volt and the maximum power consumption is 25 milliamps. So, I have powered the GPS module directly with the node MCU. If you need more explanation on how to interface the Quicktel LAT GPS module with the Arduino, please refer to our previous post. The link to the previous post will be provided in the description. I have used single cell 1000mAh battery to power the circuit in the TP4056 for charging and discharging the battery safely. Last but not least, I have used the self locking switch to turn on and turn off the circuit. This is how the physical circuit looks like after making all the connections. I want to design the casing for the hardware in the Fusion 360 so that the hardware can be made more handy and portable to test the project in the field. I have used the Coda Ultimaker to slice the design and make it 
ready for 3D printing. The link to download the STL file and G code will be provided in the description. Now let's head to the homeware part. Visit the Git repo that is mentioned in the description and download the repo to local system using the download zip option. Unzip the repo and open the file in the platform IO. Install all the dependent library using the command pyo lib install. Make sure that you change your Wi Fi credential inside the function connect Wi Fi and also password. After updating your credential, save the code and upload the firmware to the controller using the command pyo run upload. Make sure that you have also changed your fence coordinates. You can get this latitude and longitude of the vertices of your fences using the Google Maps. In Google Maps, create a fence like this and mark the levers either in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. If you tap on the level, you will get the latitude and longitude coordinates and update the latitude and longitude in order either in the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. After completion of uploading the firmware, you will get a success message in the terminal. Now open the serial monitor. Wait till the time the controller connects to the SS point. Now copy the IP address and open the IP address in a browser. Now you can find the AJAX based dashboard. Wait till the time the GPS connects to the satellite. Now open the web server on a mobile phone and open the maps alongside in split screen mode. Make sure that the mobile and the controller are connected to the same network. Now you can go to the field and test this project. This is what the final result looks like. This is all about the project. All the links to download, all the links to the download files, components and purchase link can be found in the written article of how to electronics. You can follow the written tutorial. You can comment down below if you have any queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.